Hi everybody, this is Ben Chai, the Doctor Who of Business, and I'm taking my friend Axel to salsa dancing, yay! So, I promised on my Instagram today to share uh, an interview, Axel, on how he's been creating financial freedom for himself, uh, you know, an abundance of finance. So, let's start, because uh, Axel is amazing. He has created lots and lots of different income streams. Axel, can you just share the types of income streams that you've created for yourself? Just an overview. So just list them. Yes, Let's okay. I have uh, properties. Properties is one. Yes. I have a uh, shares portfolio. Share portfolios two. Uh, mutual funds. Mutual funds three. I have uh, income from uh, forestry. Forestry is four. And then I have a regular job as well. A job. So you've created five income streams for yourself. So yes, and that's amazing. So let's talk about your job first. What's that in? It's in. Uh, I'm a meteorological operator t taking care of uh, incoming data, uh, which uh, the meteorologists uh, build their prognosis on. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, all, all kind of meteorological data and uh, make sure that the system that uh, they work with are functioning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so by meteorological data you mean you can help with weather prediction and stuff like that, yes? Yes, uh, to make sure that they can... that can be done, yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, great. So guys, my friend uh, Axel, he's Swedish, so there might be, he's very good at English speaking, but there might be a little delay while he's thinking about these things. Okay, um, so that was your first income stream. What's your second one? Uh, properties. Properties? Yes. Yes. And how did you get into properties? I've been interested in uh, houses. I have a uh, father who is an architect. Uh, I'm not artistic myself though, but I have always loved houses. So when I saw there was a course in uh, about properties in the best thing in Sweden, I thought that would uh, be very exciting. So me and a friend took that course and it was an uh, English company. So that made us uh, go into the English business. Right. And, and how many, uh, which countries do you have your properties in? In uh, the UK, Sweden and in Spain. UK, Sweden and Spain. Now, each of them are, are, are slightly different, aren't they? Uh, so just uh, share which, what the property in Spain is, because I think that's more like a, a timeshare or something, isn't it? No, it's a, in fact a, an apartment, but I rent it out. It's a company the, who takes care of all the rent, uh, letting it out to other clients and uh, to tourist companies and, and such things. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, and tell us about your Swedish uh, one. Well, it's a it's an apartment where I live myself, but it's also a mountain hut where I will uh, be able to rent out uh -huh. later on. Yeah. So. And two your, properties. And, and your English ones, what are they? Well, two of them are by to let up in Scotland, Glasgow, and one is uh, NHMO in, in uh, Folkestone, Kent. Uh -huh. That's great. And you're also uh, investing in uh, with some other people to get um, some uh, further future income with your uh, uh, village in Sweden. Um, and the one in um, up north with HMOs. Is that right? Yes, uh, well, it's not an HMO, it's a mountain hut. And uh, where I. It's a touristic uh, three room be bedroom house where uh, which is let out to people go up there skiing. Okay, brilliant. So it's like a holiday let, a ski holiday let. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, so that's really cool. So you've got to spread there. Now, um, how did you get the money for those houses? Uh, I had some uh, myself. I also uh, have been uh, investing in uh, the stock market. So I have uh, lots of different shares and uh, they have developed quite well. 
and uh, I've saved through the years as well, and also I have uh, that to use other people's money, yeah. and to use a bank uh, loans from the bank as well, which is good, uh, with my own uh, apartment as a safety. Oops. Oops. <laughs> To, to have a um, uh, 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 yeah, so to have a guarantee by having using your apartment, that's great. So you have um, your job, you have properties. What was the third income stream you created? Yeah, it was my it's my shares for portfolio, which uh, I'm investing in the Swedish market and the American market, and uh, it has evolved uh, quite well. And um, yeah, it's being given quite good returns. Right, that's great. So, and how did you learn about the stock market? I went to well. Uh, first, I tried through many years because I I know that I'm good at the numbers. So I thought, well, the stock market should uh, suit me quite well. But uh, there are so many different factors, and I it was a. Uh, my portfolio was going up and down like a roller coaster. So, after a few several years, I got fed up with this. So, I then I signed up for Swedish Sa Share Savers Association. So, and that yeah. there you go. Yes, and there I took. So we just courses. had a had a reconnection thing, didn't we? Yes, internet we did. went down. Yeah. So, so you 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 actually went on a course to learn about investment, uh, which has helped you, and you also went on courses to learn about um, to learn property. About, yes, as well shares and the uh, properties. Yeah. Mm. Right. So that's e education is uh, vital. Yeah. Um, well, as you said. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Now we're back again. Yeah. Yeah, so we're in a dead zone at the moment. If we, we if we have another outage, we'll come back and we'll have a, a part two. But let's um, uh, carry this on. So before you uh, were able to invest properly, you went on some education in property, which helped you. Did it did it uh, protect you from all the disasters that property gives you as well? I would have wished, uh, but uh, unfortunately, no, not uh, no. You have to learn by doing it yourself as well. You can uh, learn a lot of in the theory, but you have to practice and you have to listen to other people and to align with the good people. Yeah. Because uh, there are many ugly fishes out there and uh, it's... Uh, yeah. Am I a handsome fish? <laughs> so far it seems so. <laughs> handsome fish, that's great. And uh, do, do you, is, it, is it the same in the stock market area as well? Do you, are there many ugly fishes in, in there? Or mm. how, how does that there work? There sure are. Yeah. So you really need to work out and do a lot of due diligence on, on who you're working with and, and things like that. Wow, we've got this long traffic jam now. Um, okay, what was your fourth income stream? It's in uh, forestry. Yeah. Uh, you invest uh, some of money and then it takes a few quite a good many years before you get any return back well five years before because the trees have to grow and then they collect the income fruits and uh, yeah after 20 years they are harvested right after 20 years but you're getting an income after five years yes because uh, there are fruits and uh, uh, which we can collect of only after five years yeah and onwards yeah so that's uh, like a long-term game uh, so a long-term if you like investment yes yeah I, I used to have these I used to create these investments so that they would mature um, every 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 year but they were set up 10 years ago and it was great to see this large income uh, happen every every year for a while all right so that's that's your job uh, property uh, you we, we've had your income from your shares and forestry uh, what was the other one mutual funds yes uh, mutual funds T tell us about mutual funds well there are lots of them I have uh, it's mainly the investment companies and uh, global funds. Um, so people uh, 
companies that take care of and do investments all around the world and, how, uh, how, and Swedish How investments. do you know which one to invest in? Because they, they seem to advertise a lot all over the internet and, and everywhere. Mm. Yes, I invest in, uh, for example, the Swedish ones are investment companies that have uh, shown good results for uh, decades and uh, likely they will continue to show, to outperform the market. And the other, it's uh, global funds with a good renome and uh, talk to a lot of people and uh, got recommendations and uh, so far it has evolved quite well. Yeah. So, and, and I think that you, you sometimes tell me sometimes the stock market's down and so your share portfolio is not doing so well, but your property is doing well. And sometimes the property is not doing so well, but the shares are doing well. Yes. Is it, does that protect you from like, if you had just properties and they all went down, then that would not be very good for you. But because you have that balance, um, do you think that's good? Yes, uh, diversification is the uh, key to success, I think. Uh, not to be too vul vulnerable. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you ever so much for sharing all that great, great information, Axel. Uh, would you like to share anything more with the viewers before we finish this about some tips for being financially abundant that you learned? Um, diversification uh, is very important, I think. Also, not taking two risks. Uh, be aware that there are always things that you cannot uh, predict in advance, and uh, not all. Well, it's the same. Not put all the eggs in the, the same basket, of course. And uh, education, education is vital. Mm. All right. Well, thank you very much, and thanks everyone for for tuning in and uh, see you sometime soon for another broadcast. Mm. Bye. Bye. Thank you.